We're going to demonstrate a first sign drug of abuse cup test. And so this is an opportunity for me to have you explore drugs, which is something that you need to know, um, and also um, do a test. So you're going to take urine. You want to make sure that you uh, take the urine from the container and make sure that you're labeling your, your test kit appropriately. And then always follow your standard operating procedure. It says that you need a minimum of 30. And in the real world, we would do this um, in live with patients that have just um, given us a urine sample, so it would be nice and warm. So go ahead and take off that strip. So this particular kit um, gives us, um, I think, 11 different uh, tests of drugs that we can do have and then you're gonna, she's going to add 30 mls or at least 30 mls there's a temperature gauge that would verify um, the temperature that it was a fresh urine that just came out of the person and not from somewhere else and then what's kind of cool is you can see and then you're setting your timer so in five minutes we're going to read it and I don't know if you can see it, just the, the urine is now going up these urine test strips. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Whoops. I don't know about that pop. <laughs> and so, in this case, a negative result will indicate that there's, you'll see a control line in, and a test line. It's when we have an absence of a line, that means that for that particular strip, because each strip is a different drug. So, I'm terrible at saying these drug names, but you have amphetamines and morphine and oxycodone and um, morphine, among others. So each of these strips each have the appropriate antibodies against the drug that is being detected the drug in the urine. And so, um, again, very important that you can um, know what you're testing, um, with the stability and storage of your sample, um, how to collect that urine, how to actually do the test, um, reading the results. And again, typically when we see a line, just like we've been doing for um, such things as um, HCG, a line meant a positive test, but in our situation for drug testing, a, a positive result means there's no test line. And if there's no control line, that means there's an invalid test. So we have to be patient. Um, I do not have you do your own um, urine for obvious reasons. This particular sample um, is a urine from clinical samples because I don't know about you, but I suspect there's going to be some positive, positive test and results. I think we already seeing some. So we were hoping for two lines everywhere. Two lines is negative and one is positive. That so a control line needs to be there, and if the test line is there, that's so a control line and a test line, that's a negative. If you have a control line but no test line, that means they're positive for that drug for that strip. Oxy is possibly positive. Okay, these are, this is a combination of clinical samples, um, so it's, people in the hospital are on various medications. Yeah, that would make sense. So that doesn't mean they're abusing it, they, this could be just their prescriptions coming out. This test does not distinguish between prescription and drugs of abuse. So we still have a minute and a half to go before we can read it. So even though we're speculating, we have to read <laughs> it at the full five minutes.
And again, if you have a positive test, then you would go to confirmation testing uh, if this was for drug of abuse. Um, and that is um, mass spec. Four, three, two, one. And so we have, we have, there's faint lines, and that, that still would be a negative result. It's hard to tell. I don't know if you can see. There's a very, very faint line. Notice how nice and negative many of those other ones are. Again, it's hard to say if they would send that one out if they thought it was a drug of abuse. Because I don't know about you, I can see a faint line. It's five minutes. So it, it could technically be negative all around. But that's when you go to your package insert and look at your sensitivities and your concentrations of where you have your cutoffs. 